Hi parents, providing breast milk for your sick or premature baby can be especially stressful because of the internal and external challenges you're confronted with. You may be really worried about your child, access to your child, and your sick or premature baby may not yet have the strength and maturity to breastfeed from you directly. At the same time, breast milk is like medicine for those sick and premature babies who can tolerate enteral feeds. These are feeds delivered to the digestive tract. Sometimes this may add additional pressure on the breastfeeding parent, but at the same time, it can also give you a sense of involvement and high importance in your baby's care. This video aims to summarize the basics of establishing a breast milk supply for a sick or premature baby who is unable to breastfeed directly yet. If you find yourself in the situation of looking and caring for your sick or premature baby, you will most certainly need the support of the nursing staff and preferably a lactation consultant who is involved in your baby's care and at the hospital. Infants born before 37 weeks gestation are defined as premature and babies born at 34 weeks and under often still struggle to coordinate sucking, swallowing and breathing which they will have to perfect to be able to breastfeed directly. The initial focus is therefore on building and maintaining a milk supply for the coming weeks and possibly months through hand expressing and pumping. Although breast growth may be incomplete due to the early delivery, colostrum, the first milk, is often produced from as early as 16 weeks of pregnancy. A very premature baby may not initially take all the daily volume of milk that you can express. They may not even be able to tolerate enteral feeds yet, but the younger and the smaller a baby, the greater the need for a large supply to allow for a slippage. As even with a strong hospital grade pump, there is often a slight decrease in milk supply at around one month postpartum or so. So the goal would be to get to 750 milliliters plus per day by two weeks postpartum. The first seven to 10 days are crucial for milk production. You will need to express as often as a healthy newborn would feed from you, which is eight to 12 times over 24 hours or every two to three hours. Beginning to express your milk by hand and by pump within six hours of birth is associated with higher levels of milk production. Whilst you will be more likely to actually collect the small amounts of colostrum, the thick oily drops in a sterile cup or syringe by hand, adding pumping for additional stimulation so combining hand expressing and pumping has shown an up to 80 percent increase in milk collection it will be necessary to use a strong hospital grade double pump for baby that is premature not latching at all or not latching effectively you will need a pump that the strongest pump that you can get which is a hospital grade double pump double pumping is associated with more milk collection as well so whilst you're in hospital the hospital will usually provide you with the pump and the kit and when you are discharged and um, your baby may still be in the neonatal intensive care unit there are often local rental schemes and some in insurances cover the costs for the pump. A, a hospital style pump will not be strong enough, so it is really necessary to, be, to give you and your baby the best chance of making enough milk to pump with a hospital grade pump. Aim for 15 to 20 minutes double pumping per expressing session. However, the frequency of the um, sessions is more important than the duration. Hormones for milk making such as prolactin are very high at night. So it is important to also include at least one expressing session at nighttime, 
with a gap no longer than four to five hours uh, for rest and sleep. If you can visit your baby in the neonatal intensive care unit, you will be colonized with the NICU organisms and your breast milk will produce specific antibodies which will then be transferred to your baby and protect your baby. We mentioned earlier that breast milk is like medicine for sick or premature babies, which is often why if the breastfeeding parent cannot make enough breast milk or not enough breast milk yet, that donor milk will be preferred over formula. If available, your own breast milk is tailored specifically to your preterm baby's needs. In fact, preterm breast milk is usually higher in fats such as um, including the DHA, the fatty acids that are helping with healthy brain development and also immunoglobulins than breast milk for full-term babies. There are many challenges to providing breast milk for a baby that is being cared for in the neonatal intensive care unit. Use of the equipment such as the collection kits, the pumps, the storage containers, transport to the neonatal intensive care unit and appropriate sanitizing of the equipment all needs to be discussed locally and individually. I have linked some of my videos including the basics of pumping and maximizing milk output when pumping in uh, cards in this video here and I will also leave the links in the description box below. If you are just starting out expressing milk for your sick or premature baby, I hope you found this video helpful. If you're interested in a real hands-on hand expressing tutorial, consider signing up to my YouTube channel membership and you will see a real life tutorial there. It is often a long but so worthwhile journey to provide breast milk to your sick or premature baby and with the right support you may even move on to non-nutritive direct breastfeeding initially, partial breastfeeding or even exclusive breastfeeding. Thank you for watching and let me know in the comments what you would like to see next.